Good evening everyone! Welcome sa ating Praise and Prayer. Tonight, we are going to celebrate the goodness and faithfulness of God in our life. So come, let's go and worship Him. Jesus. 
God, itinataas namin ang buong mundo, lalo na sa mga lugar na sobrang apektado ng COVID-19 crisis. War, tagutom at taghirap dahil sa kakulangan ng pera. We pray that you provide everything that they need like food, shelter, medicine, and at the same time work for those people na unemployed. We pray that they may see na ikaw ang kanilang source of everything at ma-acknowledge nila ang iyong goodness, faithfulness, and love in every situation that they are going through. We lift this up in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, we believe that the Philippines is yours. We pray that your word will prevail to all the Filipinos so that they may know the wonders of your love, grace, and faithfulness to them. We rebuke fear in all their minds about the COVID-19 crisis, but instead I speak faith to them. We pray for all the provinces that is in under GCQ and ECQ, you will protect them and provide everything that they need. Thank you God for the miracles and breakthroughs that will happen in the Philippines this year. In Jesus' name, Amen.
church. Just begin to welcome him in this place. Wherever you are right now, he is with you. So begin to open your hearts to him. Set your minds and your hearts towards him. Kalimutan niyo muna yung mga iniisip niyo yung mga problema. At surrender ito kay Lord. Kung ano mang mga bumabagabag sa inyo ngayon. Matutulungan ka niya. Just begin to ask for help to Him. Surrender. Surrender everything to Him right now. And ask for help. Lord, we surrender to You. Have Your way in our lives, Lord. Have Your way in our hearts, in our minds. Let Your kingdom come in this place. Let Your kingdom come in this place. Let your kingdom come in this place, in our hearts, in our lives. Let your kingdom come in this place. Let your kingdom come in this place. Let your kingdom come in this place, in our hearts, in our lives. kailangan maging magaling kumanta para i-welcome si God. All you need is to open your mouth and praise Him and welcome Him sa anong paraan na kaya mo at gusto mo. us today, Lord. You're meeting with us. And just pouring your love unto us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your provision. Mm. Mm. 
thank you for the good health, Lord. We just want to praise you today, Lord. Karapat dapat kang papurihan. Oh. Oh. Pinupuri ka namin, Lord. Pinupuri ka namin, Diyos, Ama. Nang mga ginawa mo sa amin Alleluia
God, we lift up all the frontliners that every single day you will cover them with your protection and provision. Keep them away from all the harm and sicknesses. I pray that you bless their families with love, peace, and joy. In Jesus' name, Amen. God, we pray for all the families that you keep them united in love. Give the parents the patience, wisdom, and grace to take care and discipline their children. Give also their children an obedience, humility, teachable heart that is willing to listen and help their parents. And for those people that has broken families, I pray that they may find true completeness in you by using those people that will bring them closer to you. Thank you, God. Amen.
Activate the resurrection power inside you. Philippians 3.10, I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised from the dead. Some of us are already believe and receive the salvation that Jesus gave to us. And as we remember, Jesus died for us so that we may have new life. Pero nakakalimutan natin ito dahil we are bombarded with struggles, deceiving lies, and mostly disappointments to ourselves na dahikadahilahan na ng ating pagkakamali. Imbis na ang ma-highlight ang love ni God at ang kanyang goodness, ang mas na-highlight ay kung ano yung nararamdaman natin at kung ano yung nakikita natin sa ating sitwasyon. Resurrection power doesn't come from heaven. It's in you right now. The anointing, the power of Jesus' resurrection that you have received from Him abides in you now. And you just have to activate it. Dahil tinatanggal nito ang lahat ng mga kasinungalingan na ibinabato sa iyo ng kaaway. That is trying to destroy your life. The resurrection power of God is the most powerful force in the universe. Hindi ito mas magiging powerful sa iyo kung hindi mo inactivate sa life mo. Here are three simple steps to activate the resurrection power inside you. Number one is believe it. You have to choose to believe. Believing is what activates the power in your life. Ma-activate ang resurrection power ni God na ibinigay niya sa atin kapag inalaw mo si Jesus to come into your life as your Lord and Savior. Because as you activate it, you will be delivered from all your past hurts, pressures, and every disappointments. At the same time, you will learn to forgive yourself. And as you learn to forgive yourself, you will learn also to forgive other people. To assess all the benefits that the resurrection power has, like healing, abundance, peace, and joy, you must activate the faith in your life. Secondly, you have to speak it. When you believe that the resurrection power is residing in you, you begin to activate it through your words. You have to speak it out. You must speak faith-filled words to release the blessing in your life. Kailangan natin speak out because it rebukes Satan's schemes in your life. The power of God is in faith-filled words. If the spirit that raised from Jesus from the death dwells in you, he will make alive your mortal flesh. That resurrection power coming out of God from His Word into your spirit, out of your mouth, it makes your human body be more alive. What I mean to say is, if some point of your life, minsan nawawalan ka na ng gana, ng pag-asa, or you just feel like dry, you feel like restless, the power of resurrection of Jesus Christ will make you alive. Meaning, mas may buhay, may joy na hindi makontain, peace that surpasses all your fears and worries. And at the same time, mas mamomotivate ka to move forward. Every time you speak the name of Jesus or plead the blood of Jesus over a situation, isang malaking sampal ito kay Satan dahil na mauudlot ang masamang plano niya na sirain ang buhay mo. Lastly, act on it. You have to act on it, not just by merely speaking it out. So, renew your mind quickly as possible and replace it with God's Word and His promises to your life. The very same power that raised Jesus from the dead is now living in you. So, you have to act on it. God raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Satan is already defeated. When he is trying to bring the curse back into your life, you have the authority to make him leave. Dahil wala siyang karapatan sa buhay mo. And you have to activate the resurrection power 
in your life. You have to believe it. You have to speak out and act on it. Apply the name of Jesus and His blood in every situation in your life. When sickness, pastors, struggles tries to come, declare the blood of Jesus. I-declare mo na ang curse mula sa kasalanan is over, as in finished na in your life. The enemy is already defeated. Claim the triumph Jesus won for you on the cross. Don't ever accept defeat in your life. Jesus paid too high a price for you to accept anything less than total and complete victory. So, remember, activate the resurrection power in you by believing it, speak it out, and act on it. So, let's apply this in our life and every single day of our life. Let's continue to rebuke Satan sa buhay natin dahil wala na siyang karapatan sa buhay natin because he is already defeated. Let's continue to declare the victory that he has done on the cross. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that as we activate the resurrection power inside of us, you will help us to believe it and speak it out and act on it in our life. And thank you, Lord, that you always cover us with the blood of Jesus wherever we go. And thank you, Lord, that um, there's more to come, more victories and breakthroughs and miracles ang mangyayari sa buhay namin. In Jesus' name, Amen. I thank God for giving me the victory as conqueror through our Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one. I will stand firm, stable, and enduring. I will live my life with an unshakable confidence. God did not send His Son into the world to judge me and condemn me, but to be my Savior and Rescuer. God shows His love for me by that while I am a sinner, Christ died for me. I consider myself dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. God loves me. He gave His only unique Son as a gift. I know that Christ is being raised from the dead. So will I. Death has no longer dominion over me.
got the weight of your glory. I needed shelter, I was an orphan, but you call me a citizen of heaven. I needed rescue, my sin was heavy, but chains break at the weight of your glory. I needed shelter, I was an orphan, but you call me a citizen of heaven. 